the Falcons first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly. And that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. To throw on second down. Rich. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. Now with that interception, you feel like we got a ball game again. Remember, two-score contest and still time left here in the fourth. And in the old days, not too long gone either. Throwing the ball here would have been an absolute no-no. But the way the game's played now, throwing it makes sense. You just have to be careful when you put it in the air. Side draw. This is their fullback. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Operating from the gun. Freeman throwing middle, and it's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. players knowing that guys are going to and if they're good anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football and they still find ways to knock it free very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10 at their 38 and he'll go out of bounds it appears right at the 45 a solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? A throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. to throw now on first down. Throwing quickly here, and he's got Jacobs. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. First carry for their fullback. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I heard all the stories. I watched some of the tape of the old school guys, the throwback guys who were the punishing runners and knocked people aside to pick up yardage. I'm so glad I was sitting here today and got to see it with my own eyes. 
On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That's now consecutive five-yard carries to pick up the first down. I know flashy plays, splashy plays, as people like to call them. That attracts a lot of attention. But let's face it, when you're efficient, that can control a ball game. And I love the game plan they've got going right now. Back-to-back five-yard gains. Didn't force the ball downfield. Picked it up. Touchdown, Falcons! An 18-yard touchdown, Brown. And the Falcons are closing in on a Super Bowl berth now as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Well, something about this team, you just felt like they were one of destiny all season long, and they made themselves today, as you can see, the class of the NFC. Yeah, and it's starting to look more and more like a Super Bowl trip is very much in their future. And the fans starting to book those tickets. Point after here coming up. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So the drive there took six plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. And their dream of a Super Bowl berth so close three quarters ago, but obviously starting to slip away if it hasn't already. They need points here and in a hurry. Throwing to start the drive. Freeman looking left side, and he's got a man. That's McKenzie. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. You got the big lead defensively willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The throw over the middle, taken in. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. to throw. Freeman firing quickly here and that's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position. It's actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. But he's a bigger, stronger guy. Maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Throwing on first down. Freeman, and he'll find Sutton on the right side complete. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. On first down, Freeman, quick hitter here, it's complete. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. Options galore here, second and a few inches. Looking to throw. Freeman. He completes this to Sutton. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Come on, guys. Let's go. Looking to throw on second down. Freeman shakes off the sack. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. And the Falcons are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. 
And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration that's settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. And here now come the Falcons. And you can bet that they are starting to sense it now, that George Hallis Trophy nearly theirs. Their spot as NFC champions oh so close as they try to finish this one off. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Run it here on the jet sweep. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. The Falcons are Super Bowl bound. Time for us to sign off. Thanks for watching and good night. it for the conference championship. For Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and for our entire crew, we'll see you two weeks at the Super Bowl. This is the NFL on EA Sports.